Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Love is Bigger Than Anything That's Way by U2. We've got a capo on our fourth fret. We're in standard tuning. Uh, I made this version myself so that there's less bar chords in it for beginners and you can play if you're a beginner. So, we're going to start out here by learning the chords. If you already know the chords, you can go ahead and skip ahead. And then we'll jump into the chord progressions for the verse and the chorus. So we've got an E minor chord, we have an F, a G, a C5, and we have a... D minor chord. Okay, so to play these chords, pretty easy. We've got a for E minor, your middle fingers on the second fret of that A string, ring fingers on the second fret of the D, you strum all six strings. For this F variation chord, you can either bar that first fret with your index finger or you can just put your index finger on the first fret of the low E string, your middle finger is going to be on the 2nd fret of the G, ring finger is on the 3rd fret of the A, and your pinky is on the 3rd fret of the D, and we're going to just play those top strings if we're not barring, and if we're barring, you can play the full chord, depending on what you're doing. Uh, same position, just shift it up, same shape, I should say, shift it up to the 3rd fret for your G chord, and again, you can also bar, or you can play just those top four strings and put your index on that third fret of the low E. For our D minor chord, you can play your index finger on your first fret of your high E, middle finger on the second fret of the G, ring finger on the third fret of the B. And then finally, for our C5 chord, we're gonna have our index finger on our third fret of the A string, ring fingers on the fifth fret of the D, pinkies on the fifth fret of the G. We're just playing those three strings. So those are the chords. We got our C5, G, F, D minor, and our E minor. So for the verse, we're going to start out on our E chord. And the strumming is pretty straightforward. So we go one, two, three, four. We're going to go to our G chord. One, two, three. To our E minor chord, one, two, three, four, to our F chord. And that's it for the verse. So you go on your C chord, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the chorus goes like this. Okay, so you're going to play your D minor chord here. Down, 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 down. To our F chord. to our E chord, not our E chord, sorry, our C chord, C5 here, and up to our G. So nice and slow here. in the chorus there's also a bridge in here and it's you can do the same strumming pattern but you're going to start on your B chord so down 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 to your A chord back to your C chord 
this is an F, sorry, not an A. It's an A without the capo. With the capo, it's an F. To your C5. And that's the bridge uh, progression. So it's just G, F, C. Outro is the same as the verse, so it goes. And you can um, play with the strumming pattern there and fill it in as you'd like. Um, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. I went through that all pretty quickly. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.